What do you mean my EC2 instance is degraded? We need that instance. Uh, I can't deal with this shit. I'm going home. Wait, I work from home. What's going on everyone? I'm Will. This is DevOps for Developers. And if you haven't encountered this scenario, you're going to. You get this dreaded email from AWS that says your EC2 instance is degraded. And you're like, what does that even mean? Like, I kind of need that EC2 instance, right? Well, I'll explain the key to it and then I'll tell you the solution or vice versa, something like that. But here's the deal. The email says your EC2 has detected degradation, but the next few words are critical. Of the underlying hardware hosting your Amazon EC2 instance. And that's the key point here, right? Because remember, your EC2 instance is a virtual machine and virtual machines run on top of physical machines. It's like the, uh, the meme that was popular a while back that there is no cloud, it's just someone else's computer. Well, as funny as that is, it's actually very, very accurate. So how do we get in this position? Well, your EC2 instance runs on a physical computer in Amazon's data center. And so somebody was walking through the data center, right? Hey, those lights aren't good, All right? Well, not exactly, actually Amazon has really, really finely tuned, badass monitoring and alerting systems. And it was one of the reasons why I created the video that teaches you how to do monitoring. And I'll, I'll link it right up there. It's really important to watch because it gives you the ability to do these types of things. So if someone at Amazon got an alert that one of the physical instances was starting to fail. That alert sent them into action. It probably told them what EC2 instances were running on that machine. And hell, even the email to you was probably automated by the monitoring system. But back to you, right? Because you've got your EC2 instance. How do you actually resolve this? You don't get control over the physical hardware. Well, no, you don't. But what you do to resolve this issue is go into the AWS console and power off your EC2 instance. Now, a reboot won't work here. You have to do a power off. Once Amazon reports that as powered off, you can power it back on. That's gonna start the provisioning process. So whenever you power up that virtual machine, Amazon is gonna look at all of their physical machines for one that has the resources necessary to run your EC2 instance. And guess what? They're not gonna put your EC2 instance on a physical machine that's showing that it's about to fail. So the end result of this is you power off your EC2 instance and then power it back on and it comes back up on a brand new physical host that's not having the performance issues that they alerted you about and that's actually the fix to the problem. It's pretty simple, right? Well, it is simple, but it's important to know what's going on underneath because I've actually been contacted by clients of mine in a panic that their EC2 instance is degraded. And they're like, we gotta have this, man. We can't live without it. And you don't have to live without it. You just have to power off power back on the system. And that's just one of the many, many areas that you have to learn to be fully proficient in DevOps. And it gets kind of tricky, like what do I learn out of all these topics, which is why I created the DevOps Roadmap. And it's a choose your own adventure guide. So you just look at the different topics there and pick one that's interesting to you and go start working on it. And then when you're done with that, I show you all of the other areas of DevOps that are related to that topic so you can kind of plot your own DevOps learning course through there. 
It's a free download. You can go to devops4developers.io slash roadmap to download it and uh, check it out. I hope you enjoy it. And for your next video, I think you would really enjoy the 11 do-it-yourself DevOps projects of which one of those projects is monitoring related to this video. So check that out. It pairs nicely with the roadmap guide as well. And uh, I'll see you over in that video.